In this video, we're going to be multiplying a tenth by a tenth. And it's really cool how the model is going to help us see the answer, the product, appear before our eyes. So we're going to be multiplying three tenths by two tenths. So I'm going to color in three tenths going vertically. And then I'm going to color in the two tenths going horizontally. So I colored in one, two, three tenths going vertically, and I colored in two tenths, one, two, going horizontally. And my answer is staring right at me. My product is right where the two colors overlap. So in this area right here is my product. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and those are hundredths, so my answer is six hundredths. It's where the overlap, where the two colors overlap. And if you notice, I did tenths times tenths. When I multiply tenths times tenths, just like in the last video, my product gets smaller. So I am down to six hundredths when I do the multiplication of a tenth by tenth. When I multiply six tenths times five tenths, I started by coloring vertically six tenths. So you'll see that in red. Then I colored with yellow, I colored the five tenths going horizontally. So there's my five tenths all the way across. The area, again, where my product is, is where the two overlap. So I've got a bunch of hundreds in here that I need to count out. And I bet you could look at these two numbers, the six and the five, and I bet you could make a pretty good guess about how many hundredths are there, but let's count to be sure. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then uh, going down I have one, two, three, four, five. I know six times five is 30. Right here I have 30 hundredths. The small squares are hundredths. So the way I write 30 hundredths, remember I put my decibel down, I write my 30 and my zero has to be in the hundredths place. Again, my product is less than the two numbers that I multiplied together, my two factors.